Kieran, thanks for talking to us. No doubt the group's in uh, positive spirits following Tuesday's game. How did they come to it physically? Yeah, we're we're in a pretty good place. There's a few players who've who've had some issues just with a Saturday, Tuesday, and and a little bit of fatigue. So um, we will have to manage a few for tomorrow, um, and and make sure we're protecting them for you know the really important league games coming up. Mm. But having said that, we got plenty of bodies. We got a strong squad, and and the boys are are really really looking forward to the game, and it should be a good one. And. We're, we're looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Is it a little bit of a balance in that? Because you want to get the good players out there, but there's some lads that will you know, benefit from minutes and that kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Look, we, we know from the you know the start really clearly that our priorities is, is in the league this year. Um, but also it's been great to get to, to this stage and we, we love the, the early rounds and the, you know, the potential banana skins and then the Rotherham game, of course. I thought the, the performance and the atmosphere was, was great. So it's good to be at this point to be able to test ourselves against a good team. Um, but we, we have to you know, make some, some sensible decisions for the squad and um, protecting our, our long-term goals while also giving us a chance to be competitive tomorrow and give Burnley as, as tough a game and as tough a day as we can. So, um, yeah, there'll be changes. Um, there'll be some players who, who go again. There'll be some changes, some who um, need, a, need a bit of protection from a physical point of view and, and some who need minutes because they're going to be really important for us in the league. So we'll, we'll balance all that together and, and make sure that we've got a good side out tomorrow or we're going to give it everything they can to, I say, try and get through the next round mm. and um, at the very minimum make sure that all those supporters turning up or I see in the team are given everything to to um, put on performance they can be proud of. Burnley's record in the championship this season speaks for itself doesn't it what do you expect? I expect to face a really really good team there's mm. no doubt about it they're um, yeah for me they're, they're comfortably a Premier League level opponent at the moment in terms of either in terms of either playing um, They've done ever so well this season, I have to say, to um, you know, change the playing style in a, in a fairly short space of time, recruit fantastically from you know, foreign markets, bringing in players who haven't played in English football straight away, who have settled into the game straight away, and also make really good use of the players who have done well for them in the Premier League for so long. So They're a really good opponent, they, they play a really, really dominant style of play. That's a, a completely different challenge for us than what we face every week. One we're looking forward to, we're going to have to show different parts of our game and develop you know, other sides to our mindset than we have most weeks. And I think that's going to be you know, a benefit for the group for the rest of the season and, and for some of the players for, for their careers to, to play in a, a game against an opponent of that level. So um, yeah, all in all, we're really looking forward to it, as I say, and um, it's, it's going to be, be hopefully a good game and we can't wait to get out there. Are there some similarities between us and Burnley in terms of how we approach matches? I think from a statistical point of view, yeah, that's, that's a fact in terms of how dominant we are in games at our league compared to how dominant they are in games in their league and across England. There's, you know, we're, we're certainly in the top band of, of dominant teams um, mm. from a playing style perspective, but um, other than that, you know, it's it's important to be respectful as well. Of course, they're doing it at the at a championship level at the moment, and and they're in a really really strong points position, and look like they're in a fantastic position to go back to the Premier League. So it's probably not right to make too many comparisons. If other people want to do that, that's for them. We just have to focus on ourselves, do our best, um, try and stick as closely as we can to to what we believe in and how we want to play and, and our identity as a team, mm. while also knowing that we're going to need to show you know different facets to, to ourselves as a team that we don't have to show every week. So um, again, all in all, just a, a great challenge for us. How much of a part could set pieces play tomorrow? Our record this season has been very good from them. They've of course got Scott Twine, you know, it's well worth mentioning mm. because his record is, is very impressive and we spoke to Vaclav Ladki, he said it's something to be cautious of. Yeah, they're so decisive in games and, mm. and we're Grateful at the moment that we're we're scoring more than we concede, um, and of course, whenever you're a team who are there's no doubt about it, the underdogs in this game, and um, we're going to be as as proactive as we can be, but there's going to be spells where we have to defend for for chunks of the game. You, you're waiting for you and you're looking for your set players to be really big moments, and we'll have to try and use them as well as we can and um, try and continue our good run. We're also knowing that they have threats and set players as well, and they've been. Um, pretty good on them from an attacking point of view uh, and 
as normal, we, we want to not give them any away and defend them as well as we can. So, uh, no, it'll be an emphasis from us, certainly, from an attacking point of view of that they the, are a really strong team and set plays is something that we, we need to really try and attack to give ourselves the best chance to score. While in-house it will be approached as you know another match, another 90 minutes, is tomorrow one for the club as a whole and the fan base to enjoy? Of course, you know we haven't had a great record in the competition recently and this is an exciting game of football. I hope so, I really do. Um, I think it's the, you know the turnout that we're going to have is fantastic. There's yeah. not many clubs who are going to you know sell that higher percentage of the of their capacity for um, the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's a long time since we've had a fourth round game at Portman Road. We had to beat uh, another um, good championship side to get here who've mm. um, gone on to do well in their game since then. Um, so it's a game to enjoy. Again, it's 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 a level above anything that we've faced, and um, I know the supporters will stick with the players and will recognise the the size of the challenge. So all in all, I just I, I want everyone to enjoy it. We want to be competitive. We're going to try everything we can to get a result. But I think for the players and for the supporters, it's it's important to recognise that you know being in this round is a step in the right direction. It's a step towards you know having big clubs and good teams coming to Portman Road again. And um, that's where we want to be back as a football club. So this is uh, whichever way the game goes is a step in that direction. And that's something that we, we need to embrace and enjoy. Finally, it's a cup double this weekend with Town Women at home to Lewis. I mean, what a two days it would be if, if both teams are still in the hat come, come the end of the weekend. Yeah, I'm sure we'd, I'm sure we'd all take that. Um, and yeah, it's nice, of course, with the, with the academy as well, still mm. being in the FA Youth Cup. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's nice to have all the teams still in the cup competitions. And, and as you say, if... If by the end of um, the weekend and by the end of next weekend we were all still in the hat, I'm sure everyone around Ipswich would be delighted.